92.9 WDUP, New London's home of timeless hip hop and RB. It's your boy Mike Mitch Ill. Special guest checking in, man. Got my man, the big UFO, UFO feed checking back in, man. Been a couple yes, years sir. back here. What's up, man? We here. I had to, you know, it takes a little time to spin around Earth. I'm back. Tell me, you know how it go. Yeah, I hear that, man. You back out here working. Got the new project. Got the new record we're going to play on air. We're going to premiere Fast Life, produced by Fredro Star of Onyx. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about all that. So, like, yo, matter of fact, let's get into it. Like, how, how that record come about and how do you actually line up with uh, Fredro Star? Uh, Fredro's a legend, of course. Onyx, if you don't know, do your homework, man. Um, The original ball heads. You know what I'm saying? I was uh working, running around, you know, as I do, twin, and I came across him. Um, we got mutual people, you know, terminology, static. He was tuned into them, so he caught wind of what I was doing. And um, I just kept bumping into people in the streets who knew him, who kept yeah. saying they knew him. And uh, more or less, I just asked one day, I ran into his cousin, a younger cousin of his, and I asked him to call him. And from there, Twain, he was like, yeah, I'm going to send you some beats, man. So I was excited because, you know, it's Fredro and just having that connection as well from my childhood to now. Because um, we call an album Strapped, right? We have a whole album uh, he produced. It's 10 records, Twain. And um, we call it Strapped because I was in the actual film Strapped. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was, like, nine years old. So, there's a scene in Strat where Fredro's walking to go check uh, Bokeem Woodbond. Wow. And uh, he's walking through the projects. And if you go to my Instagram, anybody listening want to go to my Instagram, UFO Feed, you could go check the clip. I have it on my Instagram um, of the movie of Fredro walking through. And you see nine-year-old me um, in the park. You know what I'm saying? Walks I, right past me. How, so, how you identify you? Like, what you had on and all that? Like, what color? You, you can't know? miss me. You can't yeah, miss I, me. That's you fire. cannot miss me. Like, or, it's one of those clips where, like, oh, that was him? You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole time. So it's like, you can't it. miss me. Twin is dead. So, again, if you want to check the gram, UFO Feed is on the YouTube. I posted that clip on the shorts uh, just to give people a little understanding of, for me, it being a full 360 moment. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Nah, that's fire. I mean, Strap was a classic movie. I mean, Fredro, Fredro classic. been part of so much stuff. Like, I feel like he kind of get overlooked as far as like he was on Brandy. Then he in movies like Strap and Sunset Park, and I mean, you name it. He been part of a lot of stuff, man. I feel like he, don't yes. get his, you know, what I mean, he's just doing everything. He was like on, that. Um, yeah. like you say, he was on Moesha with Brandy. Yeah. He was on In the House with LL Cool J. Yeah, you know, Sunset Park movies, man. Production, he produced a lot of Onyx stuff. Like you said, the joint that you like, Last Days. Yeah, Last Days. Me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, plenty of other joints, his own. So he's always been in his bag, but I guess. You know, um, they represent, Fredro represents something different uh, that doesn't get celebrated as much because you can't tangible, you, it's not a tangible thing. You can't physically see it. It's not like a Bentley or a person with a big chain on. It's something that like, uh, he represents, and I'm not trying to be cliche, but he represents that those people who live hip hop as their religion, you know, the people who might not believe in Jesus or they do believe in Jesus, but they also believe in Biggie and Pac. You know what I'm saying? They also yeah. believe in like how we dress when, you know, how we talk, the women we like, how we raise our kids, how we eat, the foods we eat. All that represents um, something you don't see is in us. And that's what Fredro and them still represents, that culture is that 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 time that don't exist no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, and he has some stories, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yo, big up Fredro, man. Like, big up said, Fredro, man. He uh, lived a crazy life. I love I no, just listen to him. Yeah, man. I had no idea he actually produced, though, man. Like, you know, that's, that's news to us. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, nah, you know, let me break the news. I was in a, um, I'm a, like I told you off air, I, it's not something I was fully aware of myself. I mean, I knew he was producing because I always see him making beats and stuff but you know um to the measure to the extreme of what he's actually done mm -hmm. you know it's a pleasure for me to actually boost him up you yeah. know what i'm saying like i'm here to give him his flowers and that's what we're doing with the album you know what i'm saying is giving him his flowers and i'm being one of those artists who's taking it i'm celebrating it you ain't got to do it i'll do it for him you know what i'm saying yeah absolutely so with this project with him like what what's the angle y'all taking man sonically uh, 
it's a bunch of different sounds. We got a bunch of sounds on there. Um, Fredro's, uh, he's very diverse as a producer. You know, he still got that good. We didn't stray away from too much of what the people wanted, that UFO feed, that sound, but um, some laid back joints, you know, for the people, for the herb connoisseurs, you know what I'm saying? You want to just chill late night with wifey, you know, fast life. When you in the car, you know, you want to feel like that good DMX, mm -hmm. old camera, you know, you want to feel some hip hop, that fast life. We also got some um, some heartfelt joints, you know, joints I talk about people we lost. So it's a little it's a little bit of everything on there. It's a good good plate right there. Yeah. Um, Is it out already or you got like no, it's coming out? It'll be out. Uh, I'll give it to you first, man. June twenty eighth, man. Oh, right around the corner. Okay. Right around the corner, June twenty eighth. We looking to release that. Yeah, for sure, man. Hey, you hey, heard it here first. Yeah, yeah. We got you know what I mean exclusive. Here. Exclusive. Nah, nah, you heard. <laughs> but yo, um, I mean, you reference Black Rob. Talk about your relationship with Black Rob. And I remember you speaking on that before. I think he actually helped name you. You know what I'm saying? The UFO yes, feed, absolutely. You know, that feed, but, you know, talk about like you know for the late great Black Rob. Talk about. Y'all relationship a little bit. Um, what can I say, man? Is is not really a, a industry relationship. There's not much, you know. It's not music. You know, we from the same project. He's from my building. You know, what I'm saying. So a lot of the stuff that I've witnessed Rob go through his turmoil, his tribes and tribulations, his success. Everything was um ignorantly from a street level. You know, I didn't. It was like, man, that's like Rob. So. I kind of ignored him being the success that he really was because there was so much going on still in his life in the streets and it was stuff that I was there for. So I love him, man. You know, I miss him dearly, you know, every day, you know, I'm not going to act like I'm his family. I'm pretty sure his family and his kids miss him a lot more. So I'm not going to be selfish in that twin, sure. but you know, I definitely, he definitely has a place in my heart forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Rest in peace, man. Black Rob, for real. And rest like, you know, with, with that record, you're not actually throwing some Black Rob, you know what I mean, references on this. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because Fredro sent me the beat. Yeah, yeah. And um, it had Rob on it. Yeah. You know, it had it had the like, whoa. So I was like, oh, and I seen uh actually um Dro had made that beat on Instagram to on live. Mm. Like he was making it. And um something he likes to do, I won't give away too much of his formula but i've witnessed him like he'll throw vocals over a beat he made so i guess that's his way of testing the beat you know what i'm saying so yeah, he'll yeah. throw like a jay-z acapella or nas or whatever it is he's doing he'll throw it on the beat to see how it sound yeah. so this particular beat he was throwing black rob on the beat it was he had rob on the beat mm -hmm. So I, I was in the live and I'm like, oh, we need that for the album. He's like, I'm sending it right now. You know, I wrote right yeah. away. Like, I need that for the album. And he was like, like there was a bunch of other rappers like, you know, send that, send that. I was like, nah, I got I got need that. Like, yeah. that's what, and I, I was like, send it with the raw vocals too. Like, send it with that hook. Because he had a bunch of um different things on it. So I was like, send it the way you laced that. He was like, all right, he sent it. And uh, from there, yeah, it's when I just laced it. Went in and rocked. Yeah, joint fire. We're gonna premiere that at the tail end of this interview, man. We over here with UFO Feeds, man. So y'all also hear you, you working with uh Stack Selector. You know, yeah. That's my that's my ma, that's my heart right there, man. That's my favorite white boy, like 50 M and M. You know, I love yeah. Stat, man. He's always holding me down. Um, just on and off the music, you know what I'm saying? Having his back, he has mine, and the music is just a bonus. He's he's a super producer. He he produce he makes Y'all, you wouldn't even believe me, champ. Words when I've seen him make half hour, like I'm not even gonna exaggerate, man. But so many beats, he he's so fast. Yeah, he's like a he's like a, a master. So um, he is a master actually. So it's just a blessing to be around him and learn. And we about to start working. He just started making some new stuff for me that I was taking out the studio because mm -hmm. he's so busy. Um, he usually doesn't allow that. You know, he usually everything got to be on the spot like he's like a sensei like you know yeah. get down and do your push-ups right now let me see you <laughs> drop it give me 50 you know you can drink you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah i hear that man but yo on some real man a lot of people out here in ct rock with you heavy man like i'll put the word out that we about to do the, 
the interview again with you and everybody's like, yo, they rock with you, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, I love any, CT, man. I any love plan, CT. Any any plans to actually uh you know do any performances or any, any appearances out here in CT at any anytime soon? Yeah, actually, man, we um like I said, hopefully things will start to pick up a little more. The summertime's coming. Yeah, you know, I got the Fredro project rocking, so I'm back outside with a um a bomb. So we definitely making our way up there to CT. Every at the whole Man, I got so much love up there. It's not even funny. Twin word. Yeah, man. Word, man. I, I be like bumping to people like, yo, that UFO joint you had a couple years ago, that joint's fire. So I like, I still hear it, you know what I mean? Randomly through the up until this day, you feel me? But let's um, keep it going, twin. Let's yeah, go. I got you, go. got me. We rocking. That's my CT plug right there. Absolutely, man. So yo, uh, label situation, man. You know, you independent, you Indian it, or you fully know what independent, saying? twin. Yeah, uh, fully independent, man. Um you know, I keep trying, I keep running into situations where it's just better like that as yeah. a partner. You know what I'm saying, twin? Yeah. Like, it works out, um, you know, uh, for lack of a better word, you know, I get a lot of respect with the business of, like, people wanting to, it always feels better to go in as a collaborator, right. twin, as business, as partners. Yeah. Um, I've always got myself covered, you know, I'm very, um, uh, self self sufficient, you know what I'm yeah. saying. So all my business with Joe, you know, shout out to Fat Joe, man. Right. I signed with him for a little while. We worked on some things, and all that business is done, mm -hmm. clean, and um, back to independent grind and just straight putting fifty fifties together, or running it my myself. You know how we do. Yeah, I hear that. Oh, uh, you know, I also heard about like Rock Nation. I, I'm, I was like listening to our last interview with the Rock Nation. I was kind of like yeah. Through. Yeah, you know, so that, that was my that was yeah. kind of the situation with Joe Twin and everything there. You know, as far as the business is concerned, I mean, we still have a relationship. A, yeah. that got nothing but love for Fat Joe, and you know, of course, I'm always rep Terror Squad. That's a privilege yeah. and an honor. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. um, but on paperwork, Twin, you know, I fulfilled my my obligations, and mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm still getting to it. Yeah. So yo, uh, what advice you would give like artists that's trying to you know get to the uh the point where you where you at? You know what I mean? Like, what landmines you want to avoid? You know what I'm saying? Actually, going in these rooms and talking to these people who want to sign you, you know, to this right. or that. You know, what what jewels can you give them? Uh, uh, um, always wait. I like to use um, you know, I'm a hustler in my past life, man. So I like to use the reference of like weigh yourself, see what you're worth. You know what I'm saying? Don't oversell it and don't undersell it and try to keep it real. And um, because I honestly, everyone's situation different. So you might need the bag. You know what I'm saying? You might need to do something. um, uh, Not like no ditty, you know what I'm saying? But you might need to hustle and go get the bag instead of waiting for it. You know what I'm saying? So nothing in the funny style, but a little bit of effort. Mm -hmm. You might have to invest in yourself. So um. If you don't have it, man, try to keep going. And if the opportunity comes, just weigh yourself on that scale and see what you want to be. What's it worth? Yeah. So, yo, let's get to this, man. You know, you kind of weigh yourself on, like, you know, the product you're putting out. Like, what's your favorite yeah. record that didn't get received the way you want to? And what's, like, your least favorite record that got received in a great way that you didn't expect? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, like, good question. Good question, my brother. Um, Well, there's a record I put out at the end of last year called writer's block featuring my brother red inf mm -hmm. and that one is doing amazing but it was one that i didn't expect because it's a more like um introspective record is pain you know what i'm saying but i guess the people like that stuff man so like that's a record that i didn't expect to um do well to, that's doing very well and um a record that i think should have done well that could have did better twin i would probably think um my record with Joe, man, the record with Spice, Nightclubs, mm. is probably, like, the only record I feel like is, like, dessert, is, like, oof, you know, that was, y'all lucky, y'all missed that one, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's, like, a bullet I shot, you know, when Dead Eye don't miss, you know what <laughs> I'm saying? And that one is, like, but it wasn't our fault, you know, it's just I was learning the business, Um, COVID had hit, you know what I'm saying? So I was independently putting that record out with Joe, assisting me. And um, yeah, man. If I knew, if I knew what I know now, it would have hit. Yeah. So, yo, matter of fact, just I, I know you're still your people, you're still your family, and all that. Like, y'all got plans to actually still do music together. All right, maybe you're not like you know, 
connected paperwork wise, but as far as like you know, that's your people. You know, you got any records? Yeah, if I could get Joe in the booth anytime, you know, yeah. I'm always, you know, me and him, he, we have a like a, I'm like a um, I'm like his little brother. He never had in the sense of like I'm not big pun, but I'm a kid who came in later who's like actually thankful. Yeah. that it happened you know i didn't grow up with him like him and pun they was young you know what i'm saying but yeah. like me i came in he was more mature i'm more mature but i was like in a dark place so i was just happy you know what yeah. i'm saying it, it it really lifted me out of my my um my hole so for him it was like pause it was like it gave him opportunity to see like a little joy you know someone around him that's new to it and that's happy. You know what I'm saying? That's like, it's not like the same old with the three guys or we on tour and it's like, you know, everyday stuff. It's like, man, he's actually enjoying himself. Like, yo, and that kind of gave it a new life. You know what I'm saying? So anytime he willing to get in the studio, you know, he's also a lot more older twin and he's delving into like bigger things. You know what I'm saying? Like not, not saying he's not hip hop, but, um, you know, when he needs me in the studio, when he's ready, he's yeah. supposed to be gone. We spoke the other day, and he's supposed to be ready to be going back. And whenever he's ready, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, what was the biggest jewel he gave you? And did he ever give you any jewels that he kind of could pass from, like, the pun times? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you in, like, rare air. You know what I'm saying? Like, pun, yeah. Ram, Joe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, well, all of them if you're willing to give it man. out, yeah, I don't know if you want to give out the game or not. You know what I mean? You can say no comment, but like, yo, any like jewels, man, to help you become a better artist that you give to the people out here listening? Um, I'll definitely absolutely share the knowledge. Twin, you know, I'm a five percent, so I don't, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in that five percent, so I don't mind sharing the information. You know, it's it, it's just, um, I guess one of the realest things he told, you know, as far as puns. Um, so I, I always ask about pun. You know, it's just like my thing to just like, and um, you know, everybody say pun was ill. He was bugged out. You know, he was a comedian, and he was really like, um, uh, from what I gather is like, pun, pun's life, uh, personal life, was whatever it was, mm -hmm. and when he got with Joe, he kind of took it upon him. It felt like another family. You know, it felt like, you know, from my perspective and understanding and just hearing everything, it kind of felt like a young kid, you know, pun died again, 20, 26, 25 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? 27. So Crazy. he's like 22, 23 with Joe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess at this time, you know, think about yourself at that age and how happy you would be just being accepted. That's why we have gang members and, you know, other things at that age, the young kid, the young man, you know what I'm saying? So, but um, to answer your question, Twin, and not diverge, one of the illest things I could say he's taught me, man, is um, as far as being an artist is, yeah, I'll, I'll give you this one, Twin. You nice. This is what he told me one time. We went to dinner. We was talking, and like I said, he could see – uh, we went in a restaurant, man, and it was like me, Joe, Tiffany Haddish, like, you know, a bunch of, and I'm just like, and he's seen it on my face. And um, it was just Joe and I eating. So when everybody left us, like from saying hi to him and rushing, when everybody walked away, he seen that I could, I guess he could read the um emotion on my face. And he was like, yo, Fee, man, you love, you love, you like this, right? You like this life? And I was like, nah, it's pretty cool, man. Like, you know, I never experienced this so he, i was like oh, that's fire it's dope he was like see you nice fee but you ain't never been hot mm. he was like and when you hot boy the city is yours you could you know what i'm saying it's like a different vibe he was like you dumb nice boy when you get hot they go you know they don't really love us but when you hot whatever you want they got it for you you know what i'm saying yeah i get that he get these jewels on how to get hot you give you any like you know what I mean? Any tea leaves on how to actually be high? I you nice? I know exactly what do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. why you nice, but you ain't like running the city like every record. Your record, you're not on. Yeah. You're not on heavy rotation. You on every rotation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. That yeah. kind of. He gave me tips in the studio stuff to work on. You know, definitely like um, like like a jump shot coach. You know, stuff to work yeah. on, and I definitely. Um, apply it to those records that I need it for mm -hmm. when I'm making. And even the smaller stuff, man, on how to switch the flows, not be so um, barred up all the time. Yeah. You know, I could do that now, you know what I'm saying? So when it's necessary of giving an opportunity, when I need to let that that star shine, is going to shine, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? 
But right now we making this kind of music. So when we make the music we want to make, you know what I'm saying? I hear that. I mean, in in this in this time of uh this era right now, you think it's like a a, a place for a real MC to actually be hot? You know what I'm saying? Like you know, I mean, I ain't got yeah. the dynamics. With yeah, the I think all right of, I, I mean the hottest MC right now is Kendrick. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. And there's there's never been a uh, and I don't want them to take me for you know words sake twin, but all the hottest M rappers are MCs. Yeah. You know they could rap, twin. They mm -hmm. li they really could rap. Like there's never gonna be one with the crown that he's not. You know, all due respect to those, but like he's always gonna be able to put that that when they test them, you see it, twin. You yeah. as you just see what's going on. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it don't matter who it is. If you think he a joke, if he wearing that crown, if he got that number one spot, twin, he's a real MC. He really get busy because it's just um. You know, there's a difference between being an artist twin and a businessman. You know, a creative and a businessman. And a lot of us creatives, sometimes we don't learn the business. You know, I've been blessed to jump out of my creative and have to be around business. You know, so I kind of understand a lot more of like what it is for me and what works for me and what should I be doing. And um, especially when you independent twins a lot, lot, lot tougher to um you ever like yo? You ever? I'm gonna give it to you, twins. Like um, like you can't play a game that's rigged. Like a lot of people want to play the f money game, but for free. Yeah. That's not the game I play. Twin, I I come out to play with the big boys. I bring the bread out. But like, there's another level too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's a there's a whole another level of like bringing that bag out, twin. Of niggas that, uh, excuse my language. Um, they don't mind spending it or losing it. They yeah. gonna risk that that big bag twin that if we talk about it, it's like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, but, but speaking on that, you know, you, you coming up on, uh, under uh, under Joe, you know what I'm saying? Under, you know, Black Rob and everything like that. You got anybody coming up beneath you? You got a little youngin running up beneath you and everything? Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, I got my, I got my, my Cold D, my partner, um, Ron Red Inf. He's, he's, you know, Flushing Queens, Corona Queens, Elmhurst, he represent, um, I got a young gentleman by the name of Ace Artie. He's uh, like an R&B singer slash, you know, that new vibe, you know, that thing that they do. He got that down pat. And um, Sweeno, shout out to Sweeno, man. He's another young young artist out of East Harlem that's rhyming and singing and doing all that as well. But he's nasty. He's an MC, mm -hmm. you know, but he's like 26, 27. So he's like, like you said, he's an MC and he knows the value of being an MC, yeah. right? But he also knows that like there's value in being melodic as well. You know what I'm saying? And artsy. So that's dope to see it happen with them. And um, yeah, man, we got the producers, you know, the high enterprise constantly rotating around the earth with uh with well producers like Van der Slice, Backpack, Jay Hart, um, you know. Yeah, working hard. Shout out to Backpack, man. He just produced that new Ghostface and Kanye joint. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Backpack, the team. Oh, I got to catch that. I mean, he put that out. Yeah, I just peeped Ghostface. Yeah, it's on the new Ghostface down. album. Yeah, oh. it's on the new Ghostface. So the Ghostface and Kanye joint, yeah. that's produced by my brother Backpack, and that's on the new oh. Ghostface album. Um, And yeah, the team is just working. You know, we, we here, champ. We ain't going nowhere. So, man, outside of music, man, you got any devils going on? Yeah, man, my kids, you know, that's number one. I cool. love them. Yeah. I try to spend as much time as I can with them. Um, I'm looking to invest in a few things. I, I got a couple of investments, you know, working out. But um, in the next year or two, man, I'm looking to definitely open up a storefront. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Have a little um, one-stop shop for the people. Hopefully I could have something nice. I've seen a spot that I'm aiming for. But, yeah, that's my next goal, man, is to open up a storefront and just sell some of this merch and vinyl and, you know, everything fresh out. Yeah, man. So, yo, I mean, what's your favorite record? Like, for those who, you know, under a rock, whatever, ain't, ain't never heard of UFO Feed, man. Like, what would, like, be the first record you tell them to go check, man, to kind of get the essence of you and what you put out here? Um, the project, too, or, like, just the record, one song? In fact, we do both. All right, if I had to do a song, it would be Mr. Nice Guy, uh -huh. produced by Backpack Beats. And um, if I had to do a project, I would tell them check out the Ghost of Albizu 
Okay. Yeah, I think that one kind of like sets a standard too. So those two right there, Mr. Nice Guy, if you want to just hear something that make you want to hear more, and mm -hmm. if you want to hear like a good body of work, something that's like going to make you want to hear more as far as the whole project, if you're a listener, uh, The Ghost of Albizu. Check that out, produced by Big Ghost. So yeah, going back to the Fast Life record, and if, uh, forgive me if I already asked this, but I feel like I seen the clip, but we actually, you know, uh, reposted the clip. Like, is the actual visual for that record out, or is just like you just put out a little? It clip came out yesterday. Nah, you okay. right on. I, yep, it dropped yesterday on the Onyx YouTube. So if you have YouTube, man, go to YouTube, um, Onyx HQ, yeah. and it'll be right there. You know what I'm saying? Right on the Onyx page, uh, and the Hundred Man page as well. So tune into Fast Life, or just hit YouTube, man. Type it in UFO Feed Fast Life, and you'll catch it. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, like, yo, you know, you got the Strap Project coming out. Um, Any additional collabs on there? Of course, produced by uh, Fredro Star from Onyx. Got any, like, collabs, or you trying to keep that? Yeah, man. You I got Fredro like on there, of course. You know, he had to jump on sign. He couldn't let it finish up. Um, I got the legend uh from Brooklyn Tech of Smith & Wesson. Oh, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Coco Brothers. Yeah. yeah, big up Smith & Wesson. I got Tech on there. I got Terminology on there. Mm. Shout out to my brother, Term. And um, Red Inf, my brother Red Infinite, man, he's on there as well. So, yo, man, talk about, like, any uh, collabs that you would like to have in, a, uh, in the future moving forward, man. Dream collab that, you know, you think you kind of stand wow. next to. Oh, man, a dream collab. Uh, I have so many, it's not even funny, because I enjoy working with artists and seeing how they style. But um, one that you could, I would definitely, 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 um... I'm going to probably step out of hip hop and I'm going to probably go with like uh, Anderson Pack mm. or like um, October London, you know, like one of the R&B guys, man, and make yeah. something that's like, you know, bring that vibe back. Yeah, yeah. I, as though you, you mentioned October London, I think he signed with the New Death Row. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's New it. Death Row, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. His yeah. album is amazing, man. It's a piece of him and, you know, Anderson Pack and those guys who are talented like that. I would love to... Uh, get in the studio with them and see where I could take it. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, we over here with the big UFO, UFO Feed, man. Anything else you want to say to the people while I queue up your record? Shout out to the whole Connecticut, man. You know, they some gangsters out there, man. They some players out there. There's nothing but love. Um, the surrounding areas, man, New Rock, you know, all that. All the vibes, man. Peace to everybody and everything moving. Thank you for having me, my brother. You know, that's constant. You know how we move for you. Absolutely. And um, yeah, it's the highs, the big UFO. Follow me at UFO Feed on all social media platforms, man. And um, hit the link in the bios. You know how that go. Yeah, man. So, yo, we're going to get to this record, Fast Life, produced by Fredro Star, Onyx. You know what I'm saying? Yo, before the record, hit us up on IG or 